Everybody, put your hands together and welcome Well to Top Shelf. Seven days a week. Just wet ass. Ah. Make that pull out game week. Eat it up. Catch charge. Are we live? Yeah, we're, oh, we're, right. live. Looks like we're All live. right, guys. Uh, so we're live. Um, New Year's is coming up. And days, so, yeah. yeah, a couple days. Pretty crazy. So a big um drink that everybody has during the new year's is usually champagne champagne right right. um so i'm not a big champagne guy are you i'm not a big champagne guy uh two things one i can't tell you the difference between like there's the the prosecco right or Mm -hmm. whatever brute i have no idea dry yeah i don't know what that means maybe i should know i should look it up um, What's well, that feel if you're not a champagne guy? Who cares? And you know two, I mean? we just found this out like moments ago. We're both terrified of opening the bottle. Yeah, like I'm, I'm like different. Like I did open it. That was like the first bottle I've ever opened for we a, have, a while. Yeah, the three bottles here. We did open. Dude, those corks are still flying. They're yeah. still in the air. I didn't see them land. But I didn't even hear them land. They no. just took the fuck yeah. off. Yeah. Um. So we do have three different kinds. We have a uh, blanc de a brew a brew. <laughs> We have a rosé, which it looks like all fancy and medieval. Definitely for my D&D people. And then we got a barefoot bubbly Moscato. Yeah. So that sounds kind of sweeter. Yeah. So um, I don't care which one we try. Because that's the thing. Uh, I almost wonder if we should go sweeter the first drink. And then slowly get into yeah. the, the bitter side. I will, Dude, you know the first time I've ever gotten drunk was on champagne, though? Really? I was 14 years old. First, wow. time, fourteen years old. The first time I ever got litty titty, and uh, it was on champagne. I can't tell you what kind of champagne, but I got drunk, and um, I had I found a stray dog like three weeks prior to this. Uh-huh. I named him Cujo. He's an ugly fucking mutt, ugliest fucking dog ever. And um, but I got drunk. Nobody liked my my dog either. Everybody wanted that dog out of the fucking house. And then that night I got drunk. I hid in the bathroom and cried with Cujo. I said. Nobody loves us. <laughs> and I tried to run away with Kujo that night. Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, my, I don't think I've ever gotten drunk. That's the of. only time I've ever gotten drunk on champagne. Um, so, yeah, I've never. Got, so, first thing I got drunk on was Lime Twisted Gin. I, no, it's actually Rum and Cokes. Captain yeah. Morgan. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, we'll see uh, Lime Twisted Gin. Yeah. Um, I just want to hurry and make sure that this audio is working really quickly. No, it's actually- All right. Yeah, it works. Okay. So. <laughs> Um, so today we're trying a, again, so I'm not, we're not big champagne drinkers, so we're going to do some champagne cocktails. Um, obviously we have like the basic that we'll kind of talk about is like mimosas. We have mimosas that we're going to make, but our first one is a Hemingway drink called death, uh, death in the afternoon. Right. Um, and it is absinthe, which we have here. Uh, real legit absinthe. Which is the green shit we already got Which is got the green shit. You can see yeah. like, ooh, look how pretty those lights are. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that fancy? Thanks, ma. Um, and then you do that. You add one shot of absinthe for four ounces of champagne. champagne. Now, now, because these are bigger a glasses. specific kind of champagne? Or no. Anything? It's okay. just any type of champagne. Whatever you Most people, liking. Yeah. Whatever you like. Okay. Yeah. Um, what did Hemingway use? I think he used a brute. That's the reason why I was like, we should probably do a brute, but at the same time, I'd rather start sweeter yeah. and then work our way to, because by the time you're, I feel like if we go sweeter now, then we can go. I know, but I almost want to do it like Hemingway did it. Fucking Hemingway, you little bastard. All right, so let's try this. So we're adding two shots because our glasses are bigger. Mm-hmm. So this is a pretty potent drink. This will ca- this will sneak up on you. Well, absent in general is already 110 proof. Yeah. Which, in comparison, a shot of whiskey is eighty proof. Yeah. So. So and this and yeah. this has two shots of absinthe. Woo! Two shots plus the rest of it is essentially more alcohol. Yeah. So. Here we might as well show the absinthe that we're using tonight as well. Absinthe. <laughs> absinthe. <laughs> that bottle there—it's a pretty bottle. Um, 110 proof product of France with, uh, I got, I struggle with this word. Wormwood, worm, wormwood, worm, wormwood. <laughs> uh, so that, all right, we're going to, I'm pretty sure I've already talked about this before, but I hate people with absinthe to be honest. 
because of that stupid fucking Euro trip movie. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to debunk some stuff. Then we'll Can let's, we let's try it. it. Right? Yeah, let's mix it first, actually. And let's try it. Then I'll be an asshole. Yeah. Then I'll be a snob. You're not a snob. Don't talk about my friend like that. Okay. Yeah, you are. We love you, Betty. Oh, Betty White. What a babe. Kay. Cheers. Cheers to the new year. To the new year. It's sparkly licorice. Yeah, it's sparkly absinthe. Black licorice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um Damn, that is fucking potent. Yeah, that's so, not bad though. Um, yeah, it tastes really good. It's honestly a good drink. Honestly, absinthe and orange juice is actually delightful. Is it? Yeah, it's actually delightful. Um, so, as far as potency and stuff, what do you think? How do you think this tastes? This, um, this is this is good. It's it's a really smooth mixed drink. Mm-hmm. For all of it being alcohol, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Like that, and that's the only, that's what I was comparing to. It's sparkly black licorice. Yeah. Which, you know, if you're not familiar with absinthe, that's what it tastes like. Yeah, exactly. So I'll be an asshole for a second, and then we'll we'll go on. Okay. I have to I have to tell people because it bugs me because everybody that has tried absinthe, and I usually stop people uh-huh. before they do because it does bother me. You will not see green fairies on absinthe. That has not been a thing. What? I know. A lot of people believe that's that you not could. What I read. Exactly. So, actually, how it started was back in the day when Hemingway and other people would try absinthe. They would actually um, use. They'd go to coffee shops and they would drink these, right? Yeah. Cafes or whatever. And they would drink this stuff, and then they would write all their stuff, and it, it became this like artist thing. It was actually starting to get fancy because they actually watered down absinthe. They wouldn't drink it straight, so they would water it down with sugar and water, and it so almost constituted kind of in a wine glass, right? Yeah in a coop. Uh, and so they were drinking this. Well, it started affecting wine companies in that area. Right. So wine companies did a, uh, like a counter attack against absinthe saying that it would, cause wormwood is mm-hmm. poisonous. Right. But by the time you were seeing anything, you'd be dead. Right. Like it's super poisonous. If you drink enough of it, you would die. Well, that's so anything you can drink enough milk and die. Yeah. But and this it's like it is technically I mean well technically alcohol is a poison right, right. so, um, but anyway so wine companies started creating this false advertisement saying that this made you hallucinate to try to get people to stop yeah. drinking it yeah so that's what the green fairy they eventually just kind of accepted it and were like oh ha ha right and then kind of went and with that it. became the narrative and that became the narrative the same thing happened with uh, marijuana. Yeah. Marijuana, the tobacco companies in the early, whenever that shit started taking off, you know, um, that's, uh, they're the ones that gave marijuana the bad, the bad name, the, the stigma mm-hmm. that it's a lazy drug. It's this and that it's super bad for whatever. Right. Yeah. Even though we know there's more deaths every year on tobacco than marijuana. Yeah. But the tobacco companies couldn't have it. They couldn't have a competitor. Right. Mm-hmm. So they, uh, they all got together and, and, uh, slandered ma- marijuana yeah and uh came up with all this propaganda about how it's super bad for you it's gonna you know kills your brain cells and all just all this shit yeah. every, all, every all the negative things you hear about marijuana all, that's what these guys were saying and really what it was is because it was a competitor a competitor of theirs that they didn't want to deal with yeah and that's how they shut it down and so that's essentially what happened so a lot of people were like oh the one time i drank absinthe saw like a green fairy yeah that's not true right that's not that did not happen right totally false and I absolutely hate when people say that shit. Yeah, so you're on um, something else. This That's- is the exact same stuff that you could buy in Amsterdam, essentially, yeah. right? Like, it's the same, uh, yeah. like, mix, right? So, absolutely. Um, anywho. So, it's New Year's. We're going to be trying three different cocks. What I think we should do, honestly, what we should have done, because now I feel like we're going to get litty titty. But we should just do half glasses after this. Mm-hmm. So, next time after we drink this, we should do one shot. And half of the thing. Of yeah. This. One shot, just so we can try and say what's the best. Yeah. And then we'll do the same thing for oh, most Just of the booze or of the uh, champagnes and stuff? Well, yeah. Yeah. So do still do a shot of oh, that yeah, so yeah. we can say what's the best yeah. dip in the afternoon yeah. and what's the best mimosa. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, Dude, there was this place um, back in California where in a, what is it? it's called Bobby Salazar's. It's like this famous Mexican joint. And um, 
every Sunday for football during football season, they would do a uh, like a buffet. It was a bu- it came with a buffet and all you can drink uh, champagne for twenty. It was like twenty bucks. Oh, that's not bad. And it's from like can't remember the time. It was from like nine thirty, ten o'clock to like two p.m. or whatever. And that was the t- time. So you pay the twenty bucks. All you can drink champagne. They pretty much gave everybody a bottle. And uh, and then the buffet and that dude that we would have mimosas all fucking day because it's twenty oh, yeah. bucks, you know. It's like why not? And that's uh, that was the last time I think I really got into champagne was when it's cheap. When it's cheap, yeah. Because yeah. we we saw some bottles down at the store that were like sixty dollars. I know it's fucking crazy. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> what was that bottle right there? That was like a. So this I think they were all around ten. I think this one's eleven ninety nine, nine ninety nine, nine ninety nine. Right. So they're all about the same amount. Um, but yeah, it's a, so yeah, champagne kind of like varies. It's just kind of like wine, right? Obviously it's just sparkling wine. So, um, all kind of fancy looking though. I wish I knew more about it. Honestly, I wish I can talk more about it. I'm the same with wines. I wish I knew wines. Yeah. I don't know the difference between any of them. Right. And it's almost like I'm so ignorant on wines that they all taste the same to me. Yeah. You know well, I'll I mean? buy – that's the reason. Well, like, for me, I'll buy, like, a $5 bottle, and that's fine because mm-hmm. I don't know the fucking difference. It's almost nice. I'm on, it's almost I'm, nice that I'm so dumb with it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's cheaper. Yeah. Uh, ignorance is kind of bliss. It is when, it, when it comes to being an alcoholic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but, yeah, then – because, you know, you compare that to, like, whiskeys or gins or anything like that, and it's like – Huge, yeah. The huge difference. I can tell. I can taste the shitty whiskey. Yeah. Versus the, you know, I, I can't tell you if that's a shitty champagne or not. I'm sorry. I can just tell you how well it tastes and how much I like it. Yeah. It's not bad. So, so yeah, it's a, yeah, I'm not a big, never big, a bi- uh, been a big champagne guy. But like I said, so my family was always rumming Cokes. So that's what we always drank. Hell yeah. Uh, we didn't fuck around with champagne. Um, That's how classy my family is. Champagne, however, is usually that's actually pretty common at New Year's. People popping them open, pop a bottle, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. Some, I I remember one time. I think the first time I really was like on my own. I was eighteen. My buddy Patrick, he, uh, his parents took me to San Francisco, and we got Liddy Titty on the rooftop with champagne. We Fuck went. Yeah. We went walking around after because they usually have some big thing on Pier 39. So then we're walking down Pier 39. Saw a girl peeing. It was legit. We've all been there. Uh, I've dated a girl who peed on the side of the the road. Um, Have you? (laughs) Yeah, it was actually embarrassing. We were out drinking one night and she had to take a piss and fucking drop trial right next to the car. I'm like, what are you doing? People walking by. Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's taking a piss. Yeah. Uh, I saw my. Says a lot about the girls I dated on. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I saw my buddy Jordan's sister. I saw her cooter because she peed on the side of my car, like essentially with her thing right out. Like it was kind of, yeah, I do think there needs to be a better name for, I, I was just going to hurry and throw that out there and then we can stop talking about it. What? There needs to be a better name for the vaginas is all I'm saying. Well, you don't like cooter? Yeah. Cooter, twat, beaver, muff. Yeah. They're all terrible. <laughs> Clam. They're like girls need Gash. to. Gash. <laughs> oh, that's the worst, by the way. <laughs> Um, girls need to come up with a name and tell us what we're going to start calling it. Yeah. Because it's absolutely terrible. Cause every time a guy's come up with a name, oh, it's been worst. cooter. You know, you know what the worst is? Pussy. Oh <laughs> God. It's so terrible. Even vagina sounds gross. Yeah. Vagina sounds like, like it's a medical term when something's wrong with it. Yeah. Um, anyhow. Uh, so yeah, I digest. I digest. Dude, fucking um, New Year's, dude. So, uh, last year, what was your resolution? To not watch porn as often. Mm-hmm. Well, it was to stop watching porn. Yeah, but that was a fool's dream. <laughs> yeah. How how far did you get? Because that was mine too. So we, I remember we. Talked I didn't about get very far. I got about seven weeks in. That's pretty good. That's almost two months. Yeah, but you, you got a lot. Didn't you get like fourteen weeks? Yeah, I got like till May. Yeah, you but. got a. However. I have cut down on porn substantially. Yeah. Like I have, uh, me too. Uh, <laughs> no, not November and December. Yeah. I watched it once two days ago. Damn. Yeah. Good for you. I should have just waited. Oh, right. Just waited for the new year. I yeah. should have just waited for the new year and went off with the bang. However, I kind of want it to kind of keep going. Yeah. So eventually I'm not watching porn anymore. 
Yeah. Um, my libido is still that of a 12 year old boy that I should be able to do it in my head. Right. Yeah. Um, like you smell some perfume. Ready yeah, to go. exactly. Fuck. Yeah. So you, I, you know, what's the, the hottest is when a girl whispers in your ear. I love that. Do you? Oh, I love that, dude. Start uh, nibbling on your ear, look just behind right here. Oh, I say, uh, I hate that. You don't oh, like that? Yeah, nah, get uh, away from my goddamn ears, you sick bitch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, so I want to start. I want to get away from porn. That's and that's one I want to keep. I want to bring into this new year. Like that's not even a resolution. You just want that to be a lifestyle. Yeah. Okay. I, I so this year I kind of just want to end it. So I want to do no porn this and year. And also, I think you're naive as fuck if you think no guys ever watch porn. Yeah. Every guy's watched porn at least. A, a billion, billion times. times. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I do want to cut that out. I want to cut that out of my life. Um, you know what's funny too, though, is here's what's funny. It's not that I watch porn often. It's just I think collectively, if you add up the amount of minutes that I've watched porn, it's probably only been throughout the whole last year about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a better man than me. Mine's really? been like 32 minutes tops. The fact that like little clips – I can go, dude. That's what, that's what I'm saying. You add pathetic. all those up. Yeah. Like collectively, it's, I've only for the whole year. I've probably only watched porn collectively for like three hours. Yeah. Because I don't need very. I don't watch porn for the storyline. I'm no. not gonna get. If you watch porn for more than five minutes, you're just a fucking pervert. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. Well, and like so. I said, another reason is I I lose. What did I say? Uh, I don't know who that is. Oh, this was the last time I remember that. I think this is another like scammer. <laughs> porn <laughs> yeah they're like come back they always come back for my pussy in the dark um but so when i would watch that type of stuff um obviously it's I'm, i am agree i'm not lasting yeah. forever right because because again it, my mindset is not hey let's see how long i can take this i'm not trying to make love to myself that exactly. i'm trying to get me off right? exactly i'll fall into where i'll be like that is nice countertop yeah like that's what I want my countertop. You know what? I've done that. I've taken screenshots of porns and sent them. Yeah, I want these cabinets. It'd be like, <laughs> hey, I think we should do our bathroom like this. Hell yeah. So I can't do it. Like too long and my bar- my brain goes, yeah, right? Start, yeah. Um, I've been there, dude. I, I know what you're saying. So, but I want to kind of get out of it, mm-hmm. right? Um, because I think it messes with my mind a lot. How so? Um, I'm always thinking that a porn moment's about to come on. Yeah, like you, like anytime your doorbell goes off, you're like, "Oh, who am I gonna fuck right now?" <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. I'll t- I get, I've said this. I've taken showers at work, and I'm sitting there going, "Like, should I leave the door unlocked?" Because that's what happens. Someone you leave it unlocked, and then they just walk in. They're like, "Oh no!" Oh, and then towel drops. Exactly, yeah, exactly. So, that'd be awesome. um, it's never happened. Um, it's always been a guy. Um, and then we have sex and we get on with our day, but it's always disappointing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, it's never Abby danger or whatever her name is. So, uh, yeah. So I want to get rid of that. I I wanted to get rid of that. That was my big one, Mm -hmm. um, was porn. And I want to say it was also losing weight, which I did, but then I, I, I canceled that after July. I did too. I lost weight and then I gained it all. Yeah. I gained I gained it all and some back. Yeah, it was bad actually. I right now, dude, I'm I'm not the heaviest I've been in a long time. I ain't proud of it. Um, I'm scared to get on the scale to be honest. Really? So yeah. So we're gonna get on the scale here in a little bit. Well, before we talk about what our New Year's resolution. So what was your what was last year's New Year's resolution for you though? It was porn. Well, like, I, I just that. Porn. It was just porn. Yeah, I wanted to not watch it or give it up. How have you been throughout the whole year? Because I know you were really good until May. So um. Like you said, not bad. You know, it's just, it, but not great. Like, yeah. not, not enough to where I mean, enough to where like I'm not proud of myself. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. So, I'd like to do better at that, which I think I will. Um, so before we talk about other things, what are other? So there's like a lot of New Year's um traditions, mm-hmm. right? You always have. Uh, again, New Year's resolutions. That's a big one, right? Everybody yeah. creates New Year's resolutions. It's when gym memberships start getting, like, a lot of people oh start God, getting yeah. them, right? Um, so I, I would say that's probably the most common is New Year's resolutions uh, uh, is losing weight, right? Yeah. Um, that's why I kind of like Lent for anybody that's religious. It's 40 days where you give up something or you do something better. Yeah. Um, that's usually when people give up, like, soda. Yeah. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, I'm giving up soda or ice cream or some yeah. other bullshit, right? Um, 
I thought about. Do you remember the movie Forty Days and Forty Nights with uh, Josh Hartnett? Yeah, and uh, who else was in that? That guy? babe, isn't it the girl that plays the princess in Night Sale? I think so. Yeah, Guinevere. No, Jen- no. We, we we she said we said yeah. she looks like a Guinevere, but yeah. it was not. It's something different. But yeah, um, I thought about doing that right of. Mm-hmm. Because I, you know, I'm not getting sex anymore, but this way I don't masturbate as well, yeah. and I feel like I would have the same problem. Well, I mean, he obviously got sex all the time, so that's yeah. why it was harder for him. Me, I just lose testosterone. But it, it would be a funny. I, I've thought about doing that, but I like that it's shorter. Because the one yeah. problem with come up with a New Year's resolution, especially since we're going to be doing it on camera, is you got to commit all. Is you got to commit yeah. all year. Which is why I really want to do this next one on camera to where I'm held accountable. Mm-hmm. Because I, sh- I really do want I really do want to better myself in that yeah. aspect, and I don't. Uh, so New Year's resolution. So, uh, well, let's talk about different other traditions for New Year's, and then I want to kind of go back of like cool uh, resolutions. About, uh, firing off uh, your weapons like firearms or anything. Yeah, so that's crazy. I think. I mean, I guess where we live, it's just different. But did they do that where you do? Oh yeah, dude. We used to do that right in my front yard. I take out my twelve gauge and pop, 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 start firing rounds. Really? Yeah, bro. It was wild back in the day. Damn. Yeah, everybody, that's just what you did. That was just the tradition on New Year's. Everybody just go outside and fire off some rounds. See, we were, I, I, dude, I was such a, we were pussies. One, we never even did this, but my neighbors would just bang pots and pans together. Yeah. Like, dude, if someone started firing off rounds, we would, like, hide. That's scary. Yeah, pussy, yeah. In California, though. That's, that's normal. Just, that's normal. I mean, yeah. it can be a, just a fucking Wednesday night. Yeah. You know what I mean? Good time to do a drive-by. Uh, have you ever witnessed a drive-by? Ah, that's a whole nother story. No, uh, what? look at me. Do I look like I've witnessed anything <laughs> ever? Yeah. yeah. Never. Look at those boots. You know you did. Nah, I, I, this will curb stomp. So look at those fucking bags. Got some, Damn, yeah, got got some, some Tims. Some Tims, baby. Um, no, but, uh, so there's that one. There's mm-hmm. always the, the one that I hate the most. And it's because I'm lonely is the New the Year's kiss. kiss. Dude, um, there is nothing more depressing than going to a party and everybody getting a kiss and you're sitting there beating your dick in the middle of a living room. Do you, you know not, what I mean? Do you like, not, uh, I don't know what you mean. Uh, <laughs> do you guys even stay up for New Year's anymore? Fuck no. No? See, that's the problem. No. no. I can't tell you the last time I actually went out and celebrated. Oh, it was Y2K. It was the last time I actually went and saw a ball drop. Do you remember... Y2K, yeah, how everybody dude. freaked the fuck out. It's for any all y'all youngins that don't know, um, Y2K was supposed to shut down all computers. Yeah. It was going to be the end of the world. Nobody was prepared for the new century. Yeah, for the yeah. new century, and so they're like, "Hey, like banks are going to shut down. Everything's going to shut down." Or it's for the be- new millennium. As yeah, well. yeah. Um, great album by Backstreet Boys. But anyway, so <laughs> it went to where everybody was freaking out, and yeah, the ball drop. I've never. S- uh, actually, I mean, we've watched the ball drop like on. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the, again, this was in Fresno. I was 12 years old when that happened, and uh, yeah, we went downtown and everybody had big ass party. I mean, dude, there was live bands on every other corner. I mean, it was a it was a party. Wow. And uh, the ball dropped. So they had the they had what the I think it was the the security bank building down there. It's like the tallest mm-hmm. building in Fresno. It's like 12 stories. It's not a big. <laughs> it's like 100 feet. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they dropped the ball from that. It was pretty neat. That's cool. So, um, so you got the, the, the kiss one. That's the worst one. It, it is right? the worst one if you don't have somebody. Yeah. Have you ever, uh, have you ever met somebody that night though and had a kiss? No. Look at me. I don't fuck, fuck no, I didn't do Look that. At you. You're a they, everybody was like, d- dude, even the, like, no. Girls were kissing their brothers to get away from kissing me. Are you shitting me? Damn. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, um, no, I hate that one. That's all. I mean, it's cute when you do have somebody mm-hmm. cause you get to do the whole, like, uh, hold on. Um, you, you get to do the whole, uh, kissing at midnight and that's yeah. cute. Right. Like, um, like for me, obviously once I met my wife, then it was cute. Cause like the first, time we did it uh i worked the first year but she came to me we hurry and kiss and then she left okay. right so it was kind of cute that's still kind of cute yeah it's still kind of cute so um that was the day that she actually so that was actually the first day she was my girlfriend really yeah was 
uh, New Year's Eve. So it was kind of one of those things where wow. it was like, yeah, like it was Cute. We kiss, and then we Cute. kind of went our separate ways. But Sound like Kiddo the Brain Pizza Guy. Um, but yeah, otherwise we didn't really like before. It was yeah terrible, right? So yeah, no. Other than that, yeah, there's a fireworks too is another one. That's a that's one that I've noticed that's big here. Yeah, Fresno didn't do that a lot because they had guns. Yeah, and guns. oh yeah, well, <laughs> fire. It's California. Everything yeah. burns all year. Hello. Man, you look adorable. What you guys doing? We're recording. You're on camera. <laughs> All right. Can she wear your gloves? What'd you say? Can she wear some of your clothes? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. And I guess the person did you can keep it forever. Oh, that's oh. sweet of you, but yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah. Say hi to the camera. Hi. It's that way. It's see the camera by the light. Hi. hi. All right. Yeah. Bye. Now, now say bye to the camera. Say bye. Bye, camera. All right. <laughs> oh, you gotta get closer. All right. Okay. Th- oh. Okay. P- pick it up. All right, you guys. Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right. You guys have a good one. Go play. All right. Go inside. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Go inside. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. There's blood outside or no? Yeah. Well, now we gotta, now you got to explain that because there's going to be questions there. I killed my wife. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, thank you. Bye, we, guys. Actually, our dog stupid fucking dog got it, it, my two dogs got into a fight and one of the dogs uh bit the other one's ear and uh so he bled everywhere my house looks like a fucking crime scene it dude looks, i saw your trunk that looks yeah, bad too yeah so there's blood all over the walls dude we had to clean the floors like 82 times it was a nightmare but anyway there's blood everywhere outside uh my neighbor came over and my wife was worried because uh she did laundry and so when the neighbor came over, there was blood everywhere and there was some clothes. Yeah. And so she was like, did like, are they going to think that I killed my, uh, like, is everything okay? You're like, yeah, everything's fine. Yeah. Um, so anyway, before we were rudely interrupted by the cutest girls ever. Yeah. They are the cutest kids ever. The, uh, we were talking about, oh yeah. New Year's, uh, um, Traditions. What's the? There's another one. I I had something. I totally forgot it. But there was another one. Not fireworks. The kids. Gunshots. Pots and pans. Can't remember. Yeah, I can't think of a whole lot of them. Uh, I'll talk about this. Then, if you remember, bring it up. New Year's resolutions. One of the ones that. So, a lot of people do the like weight loss ones. Um, and that's probably the biggest New Year's resolution. The yeah. most popular one. I would say for sure. Uh, and it makes sense, though. The whole new year, new me mentality. Yeah. People are weird like that. Nobody can nobody can start something on a Wednesday. It's always going to be like, okay, yeah. on Monday, I'm going to have I'm a, right? I'm a, It's going to happen. So I will admit New Year's does make that easier. Yeah, New Year's, it, plus it's a, it's a great starting point. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you, you can see where you get in a year. Yeah, exactly. So I do get that. So... Um, one that, so uh, a lot of people do that one. Uh, that's, I would say that's by far the most popular. Cause I, I can't even think of a second to be honest. Can you think of what's another like popular one you think? Save money. Save money. That's another yeah. one. Yeah. That's uh, one that I want to do. Not because here, I don't want to save. I, I don't have a specific like uh, amount in mind, mm-hmm. but I will say this. We did the math. DoorDash. And like Domino's alone, I spent like thirty five hundred dollars this last year. Yeah, that's ridiculous. If I can save thirty five hundred dollars, that would be nice. Yeah, so be I, nice to put it towards so anything I want, else. I want to eliminate um, using DoorDash. Yeah. So come, you know, uh, January first, I'm deleting DoorDash app. I'm deleting the Domino's app. We're yeah. not doing that. And uh, 
I'm gonna try to make it a year without it. So good luck, because that's hard. Because that's it, so I'm not easy. saying we can't go out and order yeah. food. That's totally fine. I don't mind. But dude, it's so easy to just order something on your couch. Mm-hmm. And the problem with it though is, okay, um, you know we'll order we'll order some uh, McDonald's, right? We'll DoorDash McDonald's. Like a Happy Meal and like two regular burger meals, right? With DoorDash, that's all, that comes up to damn near fifty bucks. Yeah. So you, I was doing the calculator you while the you were food? adding yeah. it up, and it's weird because I and I get it because like we just ordered Papa John's, and for like two pizzas and a drink, it's like forty bucks. Yeah. And so you end up getting into this thing where you're like, it ends up being very expensive. And when I was doing your calculator, you're like fifty dollars, and you're like. DoorDash takes a lot of money. Yeah, door well cuz they got the fees, they got um the transaction fees or whatever mm-hmm. the fuck, the delivery fees. Uh they also put in they incorporate a tip for the driver as yeah. well. So that alone is could be anywhere between 10 to $20 on top of your order. What's up, Brooklyn? Hold on, hold on. What's going on, babe? I'm going to need a popcorn. Okay, grab your popcorn and go. Okay, we're recording. I know it's cold out there. That's why you guys go go inside, okay? Bye bye. Okay, bye. go. Hey, hey, you're being rude now. I asked you to go. All right, thank you. And I actually got a cute sweater. That's awesome. That's a cute sweater. It's a new one. All, All right, right. Baby. All right, bye, girls. I am not wearing a cute sweater. You're wearing a cute sweater. I like the sparkles. Pink sparkles. Sparkles are my favorite. You know that. <laughs> All right, close the door, babe. Love you guys. So. One uh, New Year's resolution thing that I actually thought was really nifty that my one of my buddies did was he did like uh, jacked January. So he went to the gym every day oh, in January. Yeah. Flexible February. He went and did. And I actually, I actually did it with him for a really long time. Yeah. Uh, flexibility February. So then you do yoga, right? Um, yeah. He, I mean, he went to like a, a place where he went. You know, I, I just did it at home because yeah. I'm – I'm a baller on a budget. Um, I can't remember what March was. Uh, Meatless May. There was uh, like accountant April where he was like, you know, he would just save money, like yeah. save money just for April. Uh, and then there was like jogging Jan- uh, July's where he went jogging literally every yeah. day. And it was kind of no, not no, or uh, celibate September. And like he yeah. did all these really cool um things that every month was different so yeah. that you're not just doing so you have you have 12 small goals versus exactly one, big one all year exactly because i think a lot of people obtainable exactly yeah. so you you get something <clears throat> different every month which is kind of nice mm-hmm. right so then you're not feeling like you're that because i i do feel like after three months you start to get kind of just drained. well what's nice about that is uh they say is, statistically speaking anything take it takes about 30 days for anything to become a habit yeah right so you figure you you know Jack January you're spending all month just going to the gym working out, but then by the end of the month, by the time you get to your next uh your next challenge, well now that's just a hobby. There, yeah. that's just a habit. Yeah. Now it's just secondary for you to just lift weights and work out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now you're 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 developing these twelve, um, beneficial skills. Yeah. You know these beneficial habits, uh, all year. That's going to help you out. I think that's great. Yeah. I, I think that's awesome. And, and like I said, it's kind of nice because it's different every month. So if there's something that you're like not picking up as much or you, you don't like as much, you get, like I said, meatless may, right? Yeah. Like it'd be hard for me to be vegan. Oh anyway. dude, it would be hard for me to not eat meat, but it, it's kind of nice. Like sober October. I, I would rather just eat meat yeah. than anything else. Like I would go like carnivore diet Yeah, before I gave it up. Well, and it's just kind of nice, like sober October. So he did. So he went in like full sober October. I did not. I just didn't drink. Yeah. Uh, alcohol. He went like he didn't drink any caffeine. Like he went like oh, full shit. just water. Free water. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Um, I couldn't do that, but it was kind of cool because you can't. You can amp it up as much or as little as you want, but also have a goal every yeah. time. So again, for me, it was a big deal to not drink for a whole month. Yeah. Uh, uh, it was kind of nice. It, and the reason why I like this is when you do something like that, you realize how not dependent you are on something. Right. Right. Like once I was done with a month of alcohol, I'm like, if I wanted to, I could stop drinking alcohol. Right. Um, 
Patrick's Day. I still do a sober month every year. I switched it to September. I highly recommend. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think that it's a super smart thing to do. Um, like I said, he goes like ham, egg, and cheese. Plus, I think that is a great – like you just said, it, it gives you a good idea of the type of person that you are, uh, whether or not you're one of, the, one of these people who are dependent on substances, alcohol, Meat. porn, mm-hmm. any any type of negative thing, right? Um, it gives you an idea of like I – mean, and you got to be honest with yourself. Yeah. You can't be like, well, I'll just look at porn for 30 seconds, you know what I mean, That's once I a mean. week or whatever the fuck. Yeah. You're still a piece of shit and giving up on yourself. If you're going to devote something, you got to devote to it. Well, and that's why, like, I really like, so again, he's a stronger person than I am. I'm not that strong of a person as far as, like, uh, like you said, when it was sober October, I was just like, I'm not getting drunk. Yeah. He, it, it's kind of, and again, it's kind of cool because you can take it as far as you want. So he went, like, crazy far. Yeah. Um, that's not something I could do. I mean, when he goes jogging, he went jogging for way longer than I did. I was like, I was happy with a mile and a half. Yeah. Right. Like I just, me getting out there was enough for me. And if you're a badass, you would just, you actually like go hard, yeah. but it, it's still kind of nice because I mean, again, it's not the same thing. So like, it's the same thing as like running a half marathon, running full to me, it was good for me to get out there and, and run for a whole month. Yeah. It was cool for me to do sober October and not drink alcohol for a month. Right. To him, it was, oh, no, this is a challenge of, like, I'm not going to drink tea or coffee or ca- any caffeine. Right. Right? Um, I'm not going to do anything. And I think that's that's what makes that New Year's resolution so fucking cool. Is yeah. You can take it as far or as easy as you want. You could do it every year. Right. Where every October, you just don't drink. Yeah. Right. Uh, which did kind of suck for when we did like Halloween stuff. Cause so he would always start it. That's why he actually, I actually pretty positive. That's why he does it in September it was because every year we would drink on Halloween and he would either have to start a day early yeah. or he just couldn't drink Halloween. And yeah. that sucks. There's nothing worse than now. I mean, obviously you don't need everybody to get drunk. Cause it's, I can still be fun when people are drinking yeah. and I'm not, but it does suck when everybody is drinking and you can't be a part of that. Because you've got sober October, which yeah. is again more. He's got more constitution than I do, so because I wouldn't be able to do that. But uh, I always thought that was a nifty one, and I think that if you're looking for a good New Year's resolution and you're kind of bored with the same old bullshit, uh, <laughs> being sober on Halloween sucks. Yeah, I mean, I would say so I would even if you do sober October. You why don't you just make Halloween your goal? Like yeah. Like that, once you get the Halloween, fuck yeah, go ahead. Because that's your celebration. I really, that's how I would think. Uh-huh. That's not how he thinks. Because then he didn't make the full month. Uh, right? That's, that's a, that, like, again, it's difference in mentality of like me. I'll be like, fuck, I got through 30 days. Yeah. He's like, no, no, no. I didn't make it a full month. So that's bullshit. That doesn't count. So that's, that's the reason why he never did. And yeah, again, I always like commended him for that because there's no fucking way I would. Yeah. Dude. We, so we would, uh, like, obviously for my nerds, we'd always play D&D on Halloween. Yeah. And we'd do all this Halloween shit. We'd make cocktails. He's not drinking. It's weird when you're with seven other people. And they're all fucked up. And they're all fucked up, like, doing all this fun, crazy shit. And all yeah. you want to do is kind of, you know, yeah. it's just different. So, um, yeah, it was a lot of – I think that's a good way to keep yourself motivated with uh, – New Year's resolutions without doing it. And it's, it's one that Patrick showed me. And people, honestly, I think it's great. People struggle with um, commitment, whether it's I do. Um, you know, a hard thing for me. And I told I tell myself that not because this is any goal. Honestly, it's just because it's great for your body is drinking water. Yeah. I tell myself I want to drink more water. Do I drink more water? Fuck no. And it's not hard. You literally can just walk up to the fridge and fucking pour a glass of water. Yeah. and Or, you know, because I'm bougie like that. I got the water in the fridge. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go to, or you can go to the spout. You know what I mean? But the the, the thing that's hard is the a, spout. Yeah. <laughs> whatever the spigot. You go you, you go outside to the yard and, and spool some water yeah. in. But no, so my point though is like even as e- water's it's basically free. You know what I mean? It's there's nothing to it. But even that's for myself. I know I'm a piece of shit and it's hard for me to commit to drink yeah. water. I in a day I probably only drink about sixteen ounces of water. Yeah. In a day, that's terrible <laughs> same here and mine's usually soda yeah but it says and, water yeah you know what i mean it says but water is the number one ingredient the point though that i'm trying to make is that it's hard to commit to something even and everybody wants to commit to something but it's, it's hard to like tell yourself 
it's hard to uh, convince yourself to keep doing it. Keep yeah. Going. It's, or I noticed when I would lose weight. So my weight fluctuates. Like in the last like five years alone, I've lost 50 pounds, gained 50 pounds, lost 50 pounds, gained 50 pounds. In the last like four yeah. or five years. The hard part is those when you lose weight, you're like, fuck yeah, I'll eat that burger. Yeah. Fuck yeah. It's two in the morning. Order some betas. Let's get some burritos. You know what I mean? Because it, it's easy to do that. Yeah. When you when you think you're on the decline with weight loss and then you fucking eat something, you're like, because you think, you know, like, this isn't going to hurt me. I'm already losing weight. And then that's where you go wrong. Mine's alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol's, so alcohol's every time we worst. drink, I don't Pro- think people realize that when we drink, we probably kill 2,000 oh, calories. Dude, I, I drank a 12-pack of beer last night. Yeah. So you know what I mean? That's when we up. so when we start dieting on like when we start mm-hmm. trying to lose weight on January first, yeah. The the first thing I'm going to do is this is my cheat day. So I I'm going to go to where the only days I drink are on Wednesdays. Wednesdays when we do the podcast. Same here. And we'll see how long that lasts because nothing tastes better than a fucking night ice cold beer on your last day of work or that last morning when you or get the home. first day of work. Yeah, yeah. Or that middle too. Or just in the middle. Of of working. <laughs> <laughs> no. and that's, I, we were talking about this earlier where we were talking about like, cause you were like, nothing beats a beer after a hard day of work. Yeah. Right. And I've realized that when I have a bad day of work, I create a problem. And this is maybe the, 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 well, this is where honest. the junkie in you comes into mind. Yeah. Right. Where I'm like, oh, dude, I had a rough day. I need a beer. Yeah. And then I'll get home on a good day and I'll be like, fuck, today's a good day. I des- I, today I, was a good day. I deserve a beer. Fuck yeah. And then on my mediocre days, I'll be like, fuck it. I need a beer. Yeah, just give me a beer. I want to go sleep. You know what Exactly. Yeah. And that's the problem with people, though, is too, uh, too often they convince themselves. Yeah. That why, like I just said, I'll, oh, I've been losing weight. Fuck yeah, I can eat that burrito. Yeah. Come on. Really, when I have my metabolism, that burrito is going to fuck me up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, and that's why I think I'll, I'll do calorie deficit for the f- six days mm-hmm. and then i'll realize that my cheat have day. you ever fasted yeah I, if you ask, fasting doesn't work for me how how long well i mean not to lose weight or anything but like mentally how what is what it has it done to you uh a lot of people say they get clarity i don't i fasted one time for four days i didn't eat for four days i felt like shit but um it really it really um to me it, it explained to myself or about how uh, dependent I am on like shitty food. Yeah, because so, I remember the the day that I did want to eat something, I forgot what I had. I'm, I'm I had something simple like a PB and J or whatever. But dude, I was like, this is the best fucking sandwich I've ever had. So we went. So the first time I did it was actually not like so. I, I've done it every once in a while for like Lent, mm-hmm. right? Like where I try to fast. The first time I actually did it was we went on a man versus wild camping trip. Yeah, where it was you went with a knife. A random item and a water bottle. And you went and you tried to survive for three days. Yeah. And after three days, we ate dandelions. Right? That was it. That's all we ate was dandelions. You didn't catch shit in three didn't days? Didn't catch shit in fish, three days. Fish, nope. squirrels, nothing? Nope. We tried. Dude, we need to go on a man versus wild trip. So we, That would be way fun. So we go. Super fun. Although it'd be more like naked than afraid. But go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but so we went and we, t- it ended up being food porn. Every time we would talk about, God, oh, fucking love mac and cheese. Yeah. We went to this fucking hillbilly's place named Dave. Right. He's like, ah, he's like, you got, so we obviously we just slept around a campfire. We tried sleeping in the tent in our shelter that we made. It didn't work. So we just slept around the fire. So we had fucking soot all over our face. It's like, it looks like you got duck shit in your eye. I know what you want. And he cooked us eggs uh-huh. and egg sandwiches. Right. It was the best egg sandwiches I've ever fucking eaten. There's nice. no way. The, the ketchup was 80 proof because it had to have been old by like 32 years. Yeah. But uh, the sandwich tasted amazing. That was when I realized like I could go without food for three days. And so I've done it every once in a while for Lent because mm-hmm. you're supposed to fast during Fridays and then go into the next day. A lot because a lot of people say even like there, there's plenty of people where they talk about that they get clarity. Yeah. I don't. I become angry. Everything becomes clouded to me. Yeah. Where everything just becomes something that's going to set me off. Yeah. I can tell when I am a- uh, hungry because I get hangry. Yeah. Right? I'm not myself without a Snickers type of thing. 
Patrick says, more like naked and not afraid. Let's do this. Dude, <laughs> uh, Patrick totally would. I know. He, he, it would be fun. Dude, Patrick looks like, dude, he's got a hug. I'm going to be honest. He does have a hug. Does he? Yeah. Son of a bitch. I know. <laughs> um, Skip, dude, any dude shredded, it fucking pisses me off. Anyway, keep going. Um, Dude, this next summer, because I'm not doing it in the winter. Fuck that. Yeah, that's um, stupid. That, that's not true. I think that real that will test you, but this next summer, um, let's do a minimalist uh camping trip. I'm done. I th- I mean, let's do to a, where the point where like, you get three items, I get three items. Patrick, if you're down, you get three items, right? We'll all put our put our heads together so we're not do yeah. duplicating items, and let's fucking do make this happen. So how we did it was, and it, we can do it different ways. I'm totally fine with that. Is you get a knife and a water bottle, and the third item is random. Right? Knife, water. Oh, Patrick's all in. Fuck yeah. Uh, so you get a third item that's random. So I'm going to be honest. Mm-hmm. Mine was toilet paper because I need to wipe my ass with the good stuff. Nah, fuck, I'll jump in the uh, lake. Uh, see, I, I, I didn't want to do that. I want to be able to wipe my ass because then I can still use it as like fire starter. Yeah. You can light toilet paper on fire, right? Yeah. Um, everybody gets to cool. wipe their ass that's super cool. soft. Like it, it's good things, yeah. right? Um, but yeah, if we did like a random item, I think that would be pretty good. So, dude, uh, yeah, that would be awesome. I, I, dude, I haven't done that since I was in the military. So that, that'd be way, yeah, that'd be way cool. Uh, cause I've always wanted to, I've always wanted to just go like, go out somewhere to like uh, the forest or somewhere and just walk, like just fucking hike four or five miles in and then camp somewhere. So, so that's what we did. We, I mean, we hiked probably two miles, yeah, but still we're not, yeah, I'm talking about don't even hike in a fucking like a designated camp or don't even yeah. camp in a designated camp spot. That doesn't count. So that we didn't do that. We pulled up. So he had a Suzuki sidekick. We pulled into the middle of the forest, walked two miles out. Once we found water, it was done. Yeah. We're like, okay, this is where we're camping. We uh, found a bunch of tree, uh, like logs. Yeah. We we set them up. We set up a shelter. I will say this though: what what should not count as an item because it's just beneficial is a first aid kit. Yeah, that's fine. Bring a first I'm aid fine. kit. We should have done that. We did not. And maybe a fire extinguisher just in case. <laughs> See, look how responsible you are. We didn't think of any of that. No, we're like, no. If we burn down half the forest, that's fine. Um. Spicy. Right. Honestly, my mom got me these little light things. They go on the bottom. They're pretty Everybody sweet. See? They're actually kind of sweet. I kind of like them. Um, dude, fuck. Let's do that camping trip. I'm so excited for it. I love camping. Me I too. really do. I love camping because we, we, we went on this last camping trip for mm-hmm. two nights, three nights. Two nights. Two yeah. nights, three days. So okay. if, we, if we went on this minimalist trip. How long would you want to do it? Yeah, let's do the sweet stuff. I think the same. Two just nights? in case, just in case we don't find food, dude. We're gonna find food though. Yeah, mm-hmm. but if we don't, no, I'd but rather Daddy's gone. We're finding food. Yeah, but just in case we don't, I think we should plan on. Uh, D- Darren, would you be down? Huh? Why? You don't like camping? All right. There ain't no Fortnite in camping. Yeah, you know that's I mean? true. That's true. That's true. All right, let's try this out real quick. Oh, here, let's stir it up. Do I think we should stir it? Oh shit! Ooh, that wasn't good. Yeah, don't stir mine like that. Yeah, right, fuck, mix it around. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's try it with the rosé. Not a fan of that. Yeah, that's worse. I am not a fan of that. The rosé is probably good by itself, not with the... So the one thing, Ugh. it does kind of get rid of the licorice flavor, though. It does a lot. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. So, okay. New Year's resolutions. All right. Let, let's let talk. What, what are we at? What are we at? 53 minutes. What is your New Year's resolution this year? Um, two, like I said, two things. One, I, I want to get in shape. I want, I want to just get in better shape. Obviously, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to look like Chris Hemsworth in one fucking year. That's going to take four years of a lot of steroids. <laughs> um, dude, you, just can't, one cycle. you can't look at Thor and tell me he's not roiding. Yeah. That dude's on the juice for sure. His, dude, have you ever seen how big his fucking arms are? They're huge. Have They're, you seen how little his legs are, though? 
Chris Hemsworth? Yeah. Dude, look oh, it up. Dude, look it up, Darren. I got to see this. Dude, a lot of people started making fun of him because he actually just create. He just did a video where they showed his legs, and dude, they're kind of small, bro. He's all upper body? All upper body, bro. Chris Hemsworth legs. No, that's not that bad. That's not go, bad at all. Oh, oh that, there it is. Go up to, to right one right over. That one. This was the video he posted. Look how little his legs are compared to his arms. Oh, my God. Did he just forget about leg day? Dude, my calves, my calves are way bigger than his fucking legs. Yeah, but your calves are like fucking like weirdly hulkish. <laughs> <laughs> I do have some. You have some big fucking. Calves, I oddly bro. enough have. So some I have. Big I have very defined calves. You have very big calves. Yeah. Your calves are fucking huge. Yeah. If I was, yeah, if I was about 60, 70 pounds lighter, my calves, I could probably dunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Hems, but but did you see his upper half though? You can't. Oh, yeah. You can't tell me those aren't the Mexican supplements. Look at his fucking arms. Nobody has arms that big naturally. That you can't tell me that's natural. I don't know. Yeah, it's he get does the, have God. He's get got the some fuck fucking good ass arms. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, dude's fucking jacked, bro. Yeah, dude's yeah, dude. You know who got, you know who was big too is a uh, dude that played uh Henry Cavill Superman. Oh yeah, his chest. Oh my God, bro. That when he's a- in Superman as, as the Witcher, he's lost weight. But he his arm, his arms, arms bigger are than huge. his head, bro. Yeah. What a good dude, looking bastard, dude. though. I know, right? And he's Australian, so he's got that accent. Uh, yeah, he's yummy. Probably, yeah. You know I would. Anyway, uh, obviously getting in better shape. I want to get in better shape, and I want to not be a piece of shit. I want to commit to it. Uh, secondly, I'm hoping to save about five thousand dollars next year. That'd with, be good. With giving up. Uh, DoorDash and Domino's. I think I think I wanna if I have to start making my own food right. Plus you save money too making your own food. Yeah. I I, I wanna I wanna stop ordering and ordering out food. I'm gonna delete DoorDash. So those are my two biggest ones: in shape and save money. I I do think that I want to start bringing meals to work. That would save me money. Dude, we really should. Dude, some of our best lunches have been shit we brought. You know what I mean? Shit you brought. Um, I suck. I never bring anything. I suck. Uh, your food has always been absolutely good. Uh, I did buy chicken, mm-hmm. and my brother got me like a big spice rack of like Jamaican jerk, like all oh, this yeah. like great stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make us chicken, and then we'll don't. Do you have an air fryer? I do have an air fryer. Yeah. Dude, I want to buy one. The air fryers are fucking legit Hell yeah. so the only problem with chicken is you have to make one breast at a time so i'm gonna make on all, an air fryer mm-hmm. yeah it's hard to make them all like uh because uh, when you bake them you can just bake all the whole so i'm gonna, tray, I'm gonna smoke yeah. them i got a, I got a smoker <gasps> dude that's so i'm just right. gonna smoke all of them yeah so i'm gonna do like a couple jamaicans do with a little bit of rice something we should do is we should start working out at work dude yeah that's what that's what i want to start doing is uh working out more is that at work the problem is with our schedule oh it's so fucking hard I i'm either one i'm so all i want to do is sleep and i don't wake up until i have to get ready for work yeah and then by the time we get off of work i just want to hurry up and go home and go to sleep yeah we should just try to work out at like four in the morning take a pre-workout still be able to get sleep in time yeah and hope we don't actually have to work after five um yeah but how often like, is that Every time Patrick says I went in on this new year's resolution to get in better shape. We can all keep each other. So kind of along those lines, I want to record us. uh, We talked about this. We want to record ourselves on the scale. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you guys have a a thing, let's keep ourselves accountable. Like let's, I'll totally keep, I mean, Patrick's already fucking, he's in shape. He's in great shape. Yeah, I know. And he has a great beard. That fucking piece of shit, dude. I don't know. Uh, the only thing he doesn't have going for him is his name. He's got a basic ass white dude name. He's that's, got Jack. His first name is actually Jackson though, which is kind of like, I think that's because Jack. Jack's a great name. It is, but it's even that's basic, bro. He's Jeremy Wyatt. It's a good name, a good fucking name. 
it's you, you sound like you should you should play hockey. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> see, I disagree, but I see I think he has a great name, but I think that uh he's going to eventually like I'm totally down to like keep other people accountable. Right? Although he he does sound like he does have like a movie star name, Pat Pat Wilson. Come on. Well, Patrick Wilson is a is an actor. Is it really? Yeah, that's so we always used to joke because he would. That Patrick Wilson's Who actually the fuck an actor. Is Patrick Wilson. Here, let me pull it up. Is he Owen Wilson's brother? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, uh, but Patrick Wilson 100 percent is a. Uh, yep, there he is, right there, American actor. Yeah. Oh, I know yeah. him. Oh shit! So I'm 100 percent okay with like keeping people in line. Yeah. Anybody else that wants to do stuff, I'm 100 percent. Let's throw. I mean, if you don't want to throw your weight up there, I get it. But like, throw I'll, it to our I'll, email. Let's I'll, do it. I'll throw my weight up there. Let's fucking. Do so it. let's do this. How, let's, we, we're gonna bring the camera down. Yeah. And watch uh, so hold on. Let me see what it looked like. No, our heads will be cut off, but it'll be fine. We'll just say what it is. All right. Then yeah, let's fucking do it. Okay. All right. You want to go first? Or you want me to go first? You go first. Okay. I know I'm going to be significant. I'm going to be significantly heavier. So you look like you're probably going to weigh in about 237. You're about 237, 239. So I'm going to weigh myself with my fucking no, no, take, thick ass boots. Take, no, because I want to know how much they weigh. Oh, okay. okay. I want to know how much they weigh. Okay. Are you getting naked? I'm or, gonna, I'll, I'll probably take my jeans off. Okay. Because these jeans are heavy. Yeah, they saw mine too. Ah, oh, that's uh, pathetic. Uh, ow, ow! Uh, I think that's Dicky. Um, cause I'm pretty sure that was the one that <laughs> Patrick was dissing that we had to apologize after. Uh, all right. So the the total weigh in is 228. Dude, that means I'm gonna have to get naked every time. I know. Damn, I should kept my pants on. That's the move. Uh, fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> so 228 and 258. So let's see, in we'll weigh ourselves every month. Yeah. Right. Uh, the the last podcast of every month. The last podcast of every month. Let's weigh ourselves. Dude, two fifty eight. God, dude, I am disgusted with myself. <laughs> can I we? Not have guessed it, that I was... Can we ask why you have your fucking money rolled up like this? What? <laughs> Is that mine? Yeah, that came out of your pocket. Is that how you lost your weight? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even know what this is from. Hell yeah. Drug money. So 228, 258. My goal is to get to under 200 pounds. That's my New Year's resolution. Dude, get when, under I, 200 uh, pounds. when I got hired at this job, I was 200 pounds. That means I gained almost 60 pounds in two years. How bad is that? 
Gross. And I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> well, and that's – so mine, mine has fluctuated. Uh, honestly, 228 isn't that bad without pants. Usually I'm, I'm away at about 230, Dude, right? My goal is 228 right now. What the fuck are you <laughs> talking about? <laughs> So let's – so we're going we're gonna to weigh ourselves every month at the end of every month, right? And see, you know what you have going for you too is you got a solid chest and arms. And you know I have I mean? solid arms. My chest is way more pointy than yours is though. No, dude, no way. Oh, your yeah, dude. I've got puffy-ass nipples, bro. You don't have puffy-ass nipples. Have, see, look. Yeah, I have though. a girl's chest, bro. Are you kidding me? No, my nipples are my puffy. My fucking chest looks like a sad face. Mm, dude, it's uh, not good. It's not none, good, bro. Like I can put mine in my mouth and milk. Like it's you, you and, and you have nice arms. I got these flappy fucks. No, so your <laughs> arms are bigger. I do admit that I I do think I have very defined arms. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about it. My I want to start getting it because honestly, sorry, I always bring this up. If I could have gym lighting as my superpower, oh my God, yeah. dude, bro, I'd look fucking great. You'd look amazing. Yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, gym lighting is only for the gym. Um, two fifty eight. God damn it, dude! I'm a piece of shit. Is that <laughs> calibrated? <laughs> is that calibrated? Because we did do that on carbon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's calibrated. <laughs> um. Uh, one. By the way, really quickly, these are strong, dude. I know these. These are way. Fucking these strong. are way strong. Like. It's- I it's, thought we were going to get to mimosas. So There's a 0% chance The absence is 110 proof. If we finish this, we would have had three shots of it. Yeah. Or we're going to have three shots of it because I'm finishing this. Because <laughs> I ain't no bitch. Yeah. Oh, dude. I feel like a fat piece of shit. Don't Look feel like a fat piece of shit. I like how you feel like... <laughs> like- <laughs> Anyway, I, I did like the ow, ow. I'm just going to save that comment. It makes me feel better about it. No, that's the other person that's trying to look. Like, mm. It's the same. It's the same Croatian name that is immediately trying to get us to. Did you guys do resolutions last year? We did, but it was all porn. It was and all we kind of talked about that. It was all porn related. No weight loss. It was just porn. Dude, I went almost five months without watching porn. Which, it dude, was, that's amazing to dude, me. I know. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. I'm going to be honest. I Mine has been two months, but that's because I lost my personal phone. The last year, my resolution was I quit masturbation for the year. In three days, I'm going to best my beat my dick like it owes me money. Oh, beat my dick. <laughs> Holy shit. Hold on. Really quickly. He made it all fucking Did years? you make Yeah, 100%. Dude, that dude legitimately is – dude, I love this guy. That dude – has the mental willpower of like a fucking Navy SEAL. Well, Did you really go a whole year without on, beating hold, your dick? Hold on though. He's he got, has a girlfriend. He's now. got a girlfriend. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. You have a girlfriend. That doesn't count. Yeah. Good on you, but it doesn't count. It kind of counts. Do they yeah, live together? Happened. Yes. It does not count. It doesn't count. Um. It's, yeah. Still, very impressive. That, that is highly impressive, though. Uh, I can beat that. I'm going to go this next year with Oh, that. I thought you meant his dick. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A stable relationship certainly helps. Yeah. All right. Uh, speaking for somebody who, you know, is lonely as fuck, um, challenge accepted. I won't masturbate this whole fucking year. Because of no. Patrick. Because of Patrick. I'm not no. Gonna, I'm not going to do it the whole year. You're going to kill somebody. <laughs> no, no. Because of Patrick, I won't do it all year. Now... Don't get me wrong. I'm probably going to fuck a lot of fours, but. (laughs) (laughs) But, yeah, I won't. uh, I'm going to go a whole year. If Patrick can do it, if if that in shape, good looking beard, bearded motherfucker can do it, I can do it, too. So. So that's that's the opposite of what I would think. I'd be like, if that. Yeah, I believe in you, Double D. Hey, Patrick, challenge accepted, bro. Challenge accepted. Dude, no way. No way I can do that. No way. No way. Not even. Yeah. No. Dude, Dude. I'm I'm gonna not I'm gonna not be my dick for a whole year, and I'm gonna lose sixty pounds in a year. Dude, I'd strangle prostitutes on the side of the road if I couldn't beat my dick for a year. Nope. You shit. I'm me? gonna go a whole year without beating my dick. I'm gonna fucking do it. it. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. If Patrick can do it, 
What that does is that tells me somebody who's one as handsome as he is, who has a living girlfriend, cannot beat a dick for a whole year. I'm gonna do it. That just means his girl will do it for it. dude. Patrick, Patrick's gonna do it another year. No jerking at all. No way I could do that, dude. I couldn't do that. You couldn't do it. Not even no. All right. No, no, I feel like I have to. I don't want to be a bitch. Be a man of your word, because I'm going to be a man of my word. Fine. Don't do it. I'm not going to beat my dick for the rest of the year. Oh, I hate that. I'm Dude, I'm... For the rest of this year? <laughs> Two days. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to do it for the rest of this year. Two days. That's hard. Dude. Okay, fine. I won't beat it for 2022. You're not going to beat it all year? I'm not going to beat it all year. Just shut the fuck up. Yeah, I'm not going to. Dude. Wait, hold on. Wait. No jerking at all. So, no jerking so at no all. No looking at porn. No jerking. No jerking. No looking at porn. I wanted to give up porn anyway. Let's do it. No. If we do it as a group collectively, here this takes a lot of being honest S- with semen. ourselves, dude. This is going to take a lot of like, dude. You know how much semen I'm See, going to. The difference being though is he's got a living girlfriend. You have a living wife. <laughs> yeah. Things are different. I'm by myself. The only person I have to make love to me is myself. It's going to be hard, but I'll fuck I'll it. get you a love pillow. I'll get you a little pillow. No. I'm going to do it. Patrick, Patrick, he gave me the motivation, dude. I'm going to fucking do it. He just told you what he did. I love how you're so competitive that one guy said <laughs> he did want something once. You're like, all right. So you're saying I can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, fuck yeah. yeah I mean, wh- whatever you decide to do, that's on you. I- no, I-, I won't do it. I won't. No, cause, dude, I'm not going to be left out. Dude, I hate more being left out than I do beating my own dick. So I'm going so, to... Yeah, getting laid doesn't count, right? No. That's where you guys have me beat. Because <laughs> <laughs> you are married, that's right. <laughs> you guys do have me beat there. Um, How about every time I get laid, I'll let you know so you can rub one out. Does it count if I fuck a couch? Huh? Does it count if I fuck a couch? Yeah, if you're making love by yourself, that that, that counts. That counts. Okay. Yep. So no, no flashlight. No getting off a no loan. Getting laid is fine. Okay. Yeah. This is way harder for me. Dude, you're already struggling with it. Yeah. Yeah, I've been wanting to fuck this chair since we started doing this podcast. It is a sexy <laughs> chair. I'm gonna be honest. It is a se- yeah. You dirty bitch. Yeah. You that's a genuine cow ass right yeah. there, baby. <laughs> um Okay. Yeah. This is gonna be way harder. So, but those are my resolutions anyway. Going back, <laughs> um getting in shape. Um Do you have a certain amount of weight you want to lose? I want to lose sixty pounds. Now that I know I'm So so you want to get to under two hundred too. I want to get to two hundred. Okay. So let's both get that's our goal. Both of us is to get to 200 pounds, mm-hmm. um, and we both now decided roughly two minutes ago that we're also not going to beat our own dicks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm going to go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I can do this. What's your resolution, Derek? Could you not Talk- beat your dick for a whole year? Talking to the mic. We want to hear you. You're going to have to unmute yourself. What is it? I'll join you guys on the no jerking. That's, no, j- honestly, that's pretty hard. Because for, for a 16-year-old boy, that's hardest. Yeah. Fuck. Because he doesn't need to lose weight. He's a good-looking kid. Yeah, he's in he's in great shape. He's in Do great shape. Do you have shape. a six-pack or anything? Okay. No, he's I tell him he's sure, but he's 16. No, he is a drunk. <laughs> is he? Okay. Um... You're your daddy's boy. So, no, nah, I'm kidding, by the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no more. Oh, that hurt. Ah, oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. That hurts so I bad. I bet. These champagne burns. Uh, especially with absence. Um, oh, Darren, you're not going to jerk all 2022? That'll be nice for you. Because laundry is going to be for- way easier. That's true, but that's hard for a sixteen-year-old. It'll be easier yeah, on I your remember, on I your washer and dryer. Yeah, I, dude. Yeah, 
I could smell perfume, honestly, in, in the bus. It was bad being 16. It was your mom's perfume. But either way, um, what? <laughs> he split me up. Uh, libido. My libido is very much 12. Like mine. Yeah. A breeze walks in and I come in my bed. Like 100%. I, I literally heard the words come out of your mouth. I, I've heard these words come out of your mouth. Yeah. I think the hottest anime chick is. That says a lot about you. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> And it's a girl from a comic gag hill. Dude, I told you. Uh, Such a babe. The best shirt I've ever seen was. Uh, it said. Uh, Anime in the streets. Hentai in the sheet. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to find that for you, bro. You did. You should. I'm Send it to me. I'll you. buy it immediately. Dude, that's a great fucking shirt. Because <laughs> I was thinking about buying one to-do list. And then it says your mom. And it has the like X marks through it. But I'd rather have an anime hentai. Yeah. Uh, shirt. Uh, okay. So we can't make ourselves come we're gonna lose collectively a hundred pounds yeah collectively a hundred pounds um, hey patrick what else do you have besides not jerking off what's your new year's resolution a lot of times he does the like different mix thing though yeah and again i will give him he like so when i did meatless mate it was just not eating meat he went vegan no sudden dick. oh yeah oh yeah. yeah uh he went vegan he didn't eat cheese i mean he went ham egg I mean, I mean, obviously, fake ham, fake cheese, yeah. and fake egg, because he couldn't. Dude, he he went all out. I uh, oh, I didn't know you were done. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm done, skis. Um, here's the thing, dude. I think with uh, New Year's resolutions, the New Year's resolutions are a good. Uh, are you good? Are you okay? What happened? Do you want to do a mimosa or do you want to do this? Let's again? do a mimosa, please. Please. Oh, thank yeah. you. That's all I wanted. Uh, Patrick says, I'm going to lose some weight and put on some muscle. Uh, he, Patrick can't put on some. I'll say that about him. He can't put on some muscle. Yeah, he can't lose weight, though. Yeah. Get back in fighting shape. We're, so I'm right there with you guys. Hey, so, so. How much does Patrick weigh right now? About 175? No. Way less than that. I bet you Patrick, 160. Patrick, right now? I bet you 160. So, hey, Patrick. So, my dog. Your daughter turns, your daughter's already five. Let's, so I told you, I would pay for your boys jujitsu. If you bring them to the classes that I go to. Yeah. hundred percent. Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure he's tired of getting his ass kicked. <laughs> I will. So Eris, when she turns five, I'm going to put her in jujitsu. Yeah, I want Brooklyn to get into too. Let's do this. I'll do jujitsu classes. I see. I, jujitsu doesn't fucking fascinate me. I'd rather do Muay Thai. The only thing is I don't know a good jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai place. I, I know, and that is hard. You bring – you know what? But you I take, do want the boys I – want, I want Darian to get into it, and I want Brooklyn to get into it. Bring them. I will take them to classes, mm -hmm. and uh, I'll I'll do classes after them. Yeah. Do okay. that. I'll, I'll take both of your let's kids get, to classes. Let's get into a class. Yeah. That's fine. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'll pick up your kids and then go to class. Are you – would you be down for that, D? Oh yeah. Let's do that. That would be out. Maybe I'll do it. I'll do it too. Fuck it. Well, so it's not. It's not a bad skill to have, right? No. It, it'll be after my class. Patrick's one eighty right now. No. Shut fuck. the fuck. I need man. to get down to one sixty. Here's the thing. There's no way he's one eighty. I don't believe him. He he looks at, he looks heavier. He does look heavy. Not fat, but he looks heavier. Not one eighty heavy. No Patrick way. looks about one eighty. Mm. I bet you he doesn't have a six pack. I bet she does. Patrick, do you have a six pack? Oh, oh, oh. oh, I spilled everywhere. That's all right. I'm usually 170, but the holidays hit. Yeah, the fucking holidays, huh? Who saw them coming? Um, Patrick, do you have a six pack? That's the question. I bet he does. I bet you he doesn't. I bet he does. I bet you he's got a dad bod right now. Nope. I have known Patrick. I haven't well, known Patrick without Patrick's, a six pack. Patrick's pretty tall too, though, right? He's like he's about he's about right. six. Yeah, about six feet. Um, I would suck I'd, his dick. What, P Patrick? Uh, nah, the six pack is hibernating in dad bod mode. <laughs> Not true, but that's fine. Prove it. <laughs> send send Jeremy a pic right now. You know now. what? So here's the thing: a lot of girls have talked about oh, liking yeah, way better liking dad bods, right? Dad uh, bods are in right now. That's what's fucking weird. You know what? Here, I've decided. Ugly bitches. Go ahead. No. 
I think girls don't like dad bods. They like the mentality behind dad bods. They like confident bods. No, no, no. See, I think I think dad bods are more likely to be romantic. Mm-hmm. They're more likely to be less uh, objective. They're less likely to be uh, harsh on other girls about their bodies. Mm-hmm. Right? So you get with a guy with a dad bod and you gain 20 pounds. They I don't think, care. I think dad bods are more... Uh... I think dad bods are more successful. Well, probably. Because if you're going to also work and be able to work, it's like, well, look look at Donald Trump, Elon Musk. Okay, but, okay, right. hold on really quickly. Huh. Uh, Donald Trump ain't got a dad bod. Yeah, he's fat as fuck. <laughs> yeah. He's got a granddad bod. <laughs> uh, Elon Musk, dad bod all day. That yeah. dude's puffy. He's puffy as fuck. Yeah. Um, but we're also not billionaires. So I think there's a range, right? And I, that's and, true. Billionaires, dad bods, millionaires fit. So, and here's the thing. I think, no, see, I think it's a mentality. You get with a girl and she gains 20 pounds. You're not going to care. Right. Now, if fat. you have a six pack, you. you have a six pack and a girl had a six pack or a four pack. And then she starts to gain weight. You're going to be like, Hey, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. Right. So all of a sudden she feels more confident with you. You're, uh, you're with her for who she is as a person, not as much her body, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. I think it's the mentality behind dad bods. I agree. I agree with you. It is. So, dad bods are less judgmental, mm-hmm. and I would agree with that. Yeah. Which is funny because for somebody who's like not in shape at all, who looks like dog shit, I talk a lot of shit. <laughs> One, you don't look like dog shit. Don't say that about my friend. But also, uh. Yeah, I wouldn't say that you talk shit that's like out of the range of like Yeah. Like you're not you're very I think you're a very uh romantic and also like uh it's not like you're talking about shit that people are people are five hundred pounds and you're like, Yeah, they're five hundred pounds. It's not like you're they're a little bit overweight and you're like, You fat bitch. Like, you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> you know you're not, you fucking nah, big I, I get I get you. Uh I think that's the difference is yeah. mentality. No, I, I get it. I get it, dude. I guess. So the hard part is, dude, this is the first time I weighed myself in about two months. So I get it. Um, it, it is a slap in the face of how negligent I've been to my body. Right. I drink. I drink like a fish. Um, I don't exercise like I used to. Right. You're smirking. Like, you're like, no, I feel like no, I'm waiting for, cause I, I don't think you're that big. I think you're harder on your, you're the worst. You're your worst critic. Everybody's their own worst critic. You, I look at you and I, dude, my goal is to look like you. That's what's, that's what's crazy. <laughs> One. No. Cause you also, hold on. Hold on. You're 30 pounds lighter than I am. Yeah. But you also have a lot better. You have a lot more, uh, what? Muscle in your legs. Yeah, because everybody's like, ooh, those legs. No. Yeah, they do. Girls love legs and butts. No way. I don't have a butt. You know how long I've been working on a butt? Let me see your calves. Look at those calves. Show the camera your calves. Let's show the camera your calves. If you're not embarrassed, I'll show, show the camera. Can you see them, Derek? Pick, put, put your leg on my chair. Put your leg on my chair. Oh, goddamn. Okay. Look, that actually looks amazing. Dude, they look great, bro. <laughs> Look at my fucking calves. All right. God damn, they're twice as big as mine. <laughs> oh, no. Well, that's not what I meant. That's not what I was trying that's, to That's my point, though. That's not what I was trying to prove. <laughs> One, your dick, point- your dick weighs twice as much as mine, <laughs> and your calves do, too. That's not God what I was damn. Trying to prove. That's not what I was trying to prove. Also, uh, you, have, was, uh-huh. you have a donkey, right? You do have a little bit of a butt. Double D's calves look like he is smuggling some GMO bell peppers. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking Agree. Weird. Agree. You have big you have big uh calves. I'd say our legs are similar as far as like uh I think mine are more defined, but yours are bigger. But you also have a dumper. I don't um, have a butt. You have a stronger leg though, because uh, I you squat more than I do. I, I do remember that. Yeah, but I don't have a good back though. Like you could, I didn't say I disagree, but that's not the point. Uh, because you always squatted more than me, I leg pressed more than you. There was a difference. 
No, well, yeah, I yeah, squatted more because my back was healthier. Yeah. You, you don't have a healthy back. No, my back sucks at dick. Um, actually, I, I will, I will, I will say that I'll agree with that, but that doesn't mean my legs are bigger or stronger. It but you also have, you also have a butt though. I don't have. A I butt. don't have a butt. You have more than no, a butt that I. Yeah, I, I, do. I, I don't have a butt. You just, you literally don't have a butt. Yeah, my spoon. Difference. It's like a spoon. I can gather water. I know. And that's, uh, I honestly. So we're supposed to have somebody on here that was supposed to be like a fitness person. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest. Half of my questions were, how can I gain a butt? Because she has a butt, right? Now, part of it's genetics. But I also want I want nothing more than to Kim K take it out of my tits and my stomach and put it in my butt. Out, yeah. However, you can get blood clots that way, and I already have a bad heart. I'm not going to fuck with it. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, dude, I think it's got, I, I'm so curious to see where we're going to be at in two months. Loving the body positivity of this episode. <laughs> no, it's good. Um, it's weird. We're really positive about both of our bodies. Yeah. Sucking asshole. So it's- yeah, I'm positive my body <laughs> fucking reeks, bro. My body sucks. If you're into playing with pasta dough, you'd be into fucking this guy. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So. Yeah. Um, you look like somebody chew like took a big ass bite of some pizza dough and spit it out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, also, Did, I didn't shave. I look the same way, except add stretch marks. That's my body. <laughs> I'm pizza dough with stretch marks. So baby. for for Christmas, <laughs> for Christmas, I asked for beard stuff, and my mom got it for me. Mm-hmm. So I got the same. Uh, Stuff you did. The, yeah. The, like, the uh, roller and all that shit. Yeah. So I'm not shaving. So if I'm going to look like shit, I'm going to look. I will, it's, gro- it's it's growing in where it normally doesn't. Are you rolling? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it looks like it's filling in where, it's, where it normally doesn't. So one thing, because one thing Patrick 100% has on both of us a is that goddamn fucking beard. beard. I know. Right? So I am trying to grow a beard. So I'm going to look like shit for the first three months for sure. I love it. Okay. Um, I'm not going to shave because I feel like if you shave, then it makes it pointless. Yeah. Right. I so, um, I am going to look like shit for the next three months, but I'm hoping to grow a beard. See, your shit looks like it's growing in. My shit grows in rough. Look, give me the back of your hand. Feel this shit. Right. It's rough. Yeah. But I feel like that means you have hair. Though. But that's, but that's nothing. Dude. But I can, the difference is, is you can feel how rough mine is. You can't see it. You can physically see your shit. You, and it looks like it's growing in all you. I got this like bald patch right here. It's just not cute. The only bald patch I have is right here between mustache and beard. They don't connect. Mm-mm. Is that where you're rolling? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm rolling everywhere. To you be roll, yeah, I don't get on the rolling, cheeks either. Rollings opens the. Uh, it opens the oh, pores. pores yeah. yeah. It's a. They're like micro dermal needles, right? Yeah. yeah. Really quickly, something I didn't know. Uh, Rogaine only works on the back of your head. So if you have problems with growing hair on the back of your head, I have Rogaine now. I, I don't have a problem with that. I can grow hair on the back of my head. Yeah. It's right here. So I've been using the same. Patrick says, I want to see Jer with the beard. This is a weird phase, but power through. You can already see some progress. Dude, legit, you can. Your, here's the thing. Your face, your hair, look, it, it looks like it's growing in evenly, though. You don't look like you're missing a, pot, a patch yet. Well, except man, now that you pointed yeah. out right by your lips. Yeah. But that's common, too. A lot of people can't get that, that goatee to connect. I So, Patrick looks great with a beard. Patrick looks amazing. And so, I I figure anything that will cover up this ugly mug, if I could have a beard like this. Shut the fuck up. I think it'd look great. Dude, I think you'd look amazing with a beard. I can already see it. Yeah, look, look you see your shit. Look, look, look at me. Look at me. You can't see it, but I can see it. Yeah, dude, you can see your shadow there. Fuck yeah. Actually, look straight at the TV. You can see your shadow on the left side. Look at that. So the only thing is I grow a mean underbeard, right? Like, mm-hmm. I grow a mean neck beard. If people were like, hey, we need a D&D guy that can grow the just, like, fucking neck beard like a motherfucker, daddy be your guy. See, I can't grow any of that, bro. I grow right here. Some right here. I get a ball spot right here. Do you shave it like that, or does it come all redneck? Just it, it grows uh, all natural. white trash. Like okay. That. Yeah, it really does. And I, but I shave my whole face. I said, "Fuck it. it. It's just who I am. I can't grow, so I, I accept it." Not like Darren. He's had a beard since he was fucking seven. 
He is half Hispanic, though. He is half. Dude, I'm honestly jealous of his fucking mustache. Look at that mustache, That is bro. a good mustache. Ole, bro. Uh, when's the last Olay. time you shaved? Okay. That's so pretty sad. That's his half. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's daddy's half. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I said, there was a girl in my high school. Who had a beard. Who had a mustache, bro. <laughs> And dude, she had such a good mustache, bro. There it was made a, me hate her. We, uh, yep. I've had a girl like that. I had this girl. Uh, oh, this girl Jennifer. She always had a camel toe. She can wear sweatpants, have a camel toe. And uh, do you wish you had a camel toe? <laughs> no, no, I don't know why that came to me. We were talking about high school, and that's what came to me. It's fucking Jennifer and her camel toe. I should hit her up. <laughs> anyway, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What? Tell me your story. <laughs> we we're talking about him. Hey, Anywho, <laughs> dude, I dyed my mustache because my mustache, for most people that don't know, it only grew in at the time. It would only grow in brown right here. Like the Hitler? Like the Hitler. So I would I would go I would go help people and they'd be like, Hey, nice Hitler stash and I'd be like, Okay, I gotta dye it. So I dyed it and it's always darker than what you think, right? Yeah. If you're gonna dye any facial hair or hair, grow it two shades lighter than you think it would grow. See, I get the reverse Hitler. I get hair here and here. I don't get anything in the middle. So I grew blonde on the side, but I would grow. So, I mean, I would have a full mustache. And ironically enough, you have a German last name. I know. Like, Ech nine. And then no, yeah. so you can't do that, right? So uh, it was honestly terrible. So I dyed my mustache yeah. and it looked absolutely horrid. The fact that anybody wanted uh, it was just ridiculous the fact that my wife stayed married to me at the time was just like dude pathetic germans are sweethearts though they real the germans are sweethearts have you ever met any germans yeah uh, dude i talked are to they? A german, i talked to a german one i talked to a german one time and i was like do you think i'm attracted and they were like nine i was like fuck they think i'm a nine that's fucking weird <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yeah <laughs> dude so apparently according to germans i'm a nine <laughs> Beautiful content. <laughs> oh my god, that what? was that was great. That was great. <laughs> good for you. Damn it, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna cackle over that one. That's gonna get me laughing for four days. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> No, that was that was good. That was just a good joke. I don't care who you are. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. No, good. That was a good joke. Um. <laughs> so again, we're gonna record ourselves at the end of every month. Do the last episode of every month. We need to weigh ourselves. Let's do that. Let's try to work out mm -hmm. during our work yep. weeks. Struggling with the fuck that goddamn cap. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking righty tighty loosey. Um, <laughs> let's try to work out during our our work. Yeah. Let's. I'll I'll try to bring lunch too, because you're usually the one that brings lunch. Yep. Um, let's try to lose weight. We'll record our the same thing. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to wear that same fucking underwear too, because yeah. I'm not gonna aid. I'm not gonna add to that point five pounds you know what i mean are your do your does the material in your underwear differ that much it it does enough yeah okay oh my god i can't believe i showed that on tv you showed your dick yeah dude that was a big old wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> nobody met me and went big dick energy so uh. <laughs> in my defense nobody saw me and thought hey he's got it right well, that's true. I'm, to be honest with you, I, I also was in my underwear. It wasn't that impressive. <laughs> you got a bulge. Uh, I'm all, dude, I'm all berries, no twig, bro. I'm all berries, no twig. <laughs> Sad, disagree, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> so we're going to record that every month. Yep. We're going to try to lose weight. Uh, we are going to lose weight. We're going to not, I can't believe I'm saying this, we're going to not masturbate <laughs> all fucking year. All fucking year. Fuck yeah. Shalou.
All right. Well, uh, if you guys have any New Year's resolutions that you would like us to keep you accountable for, y'all let us know. Good. That's good. Uh, we'll 100% bring it up every month. Yeah. Uh, email us at the uh, sorry, well to top shelf at gmail.com. So, well to top shelf at gmail.com. Also, if you want some of this uh, dirty cop soaps, let us know. Let us it's know. It's four dollars a bar. Um, I think it'd be five if we actually have to ship it to you. But if you know us and you want to get some of the soap, God, that smells so good. That's uh, a, this one's spearmint, spearmint eucalyptus. God, it's so good. Amazing. Uh, I used it today to wash my balls. It was Dude, amazing. I, um, that's what I use to clean my face. Yeah. And look at that. I use both. No acne. No facial hair. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, please reach out if you want some of the soap. It does smell amazing. Yeah, it smells amazing. Um, um, yeah. If you want t-shirts, let us know. Um, and, yeah. So, have a good uh, New Year's, guys. I hope. Seriously, you guys have... A great year, even if it's not your weekend. I hope it. This is your year, and uh, Happy New cheers! Year. Happy New Year's. <laughs>